Hello and welcome. I'm Drix and in this short tutorial I will teach you a little bit about capturing your desktop with fraps and then rendering it in uh, Sony Vegas HD Platinum 10 or later versions as well. And we start off with activating fraps, but first we need to check the right settings. You need to have this box checked, monitor arrow desktop. Check that. Get, go to the next tab, FPS. Don't really need to care about that. Just make sure your numbers are in the right corner and uh, they are red when you are recording. You can do dry runs and see if your video files appear in the destination folder. And then you can move over to the movies tab. This, I think, you, yeah, this is where you can change your destination folders folder for movies the output movies they are very large so that's why we need to render them later on you want to use full size if you don't want to have a crappy quality half size <laughs> obviously and 29.97 uh, fps and if you are if you want the sound from your from your programs or if you want anything from yeah that comes from your computer you should check this box as well but right now I'm not using it but I do use this because I have the microphone on screenshots you don't have to worry about that but anyway as you can see right now I am monitoring the desktop so every window is visible I can drag them around and you can see it that's really convenient but anyway now that I have showed you the basics of fraps and I am recording right now so let's go to Sony Vegas we want to use open up a new a new project and it depends on if you but go with internet video just go with internet video because I guess that's what your goal is right now so just check that and click OK then you can take your little DWM file and uh, put it on the timeline it will appear on the timeline and then you can click right there save as before you start rendering because it can crash I'm not sure if, if it's my version or not but it can run out of memory and stop rendering just make sure to save it if you want to be sure and then click make movie save it to my hard drive is always the safest way upload it to YouTube directly doesn't always work um, so just save it to your hard drive is always the safest way you can rename it right here rename it blah 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 or whatever and choose format Sony AVC is what I use it produces mp4 files that are not I'm not sure if it's the best compression but it's good quality and it's kind of good compression it's uh, it uses the H what is it a H264 format for video compression but anyway if you want 720p choose this one if you want 1080p choose this one um, 30 frames per second is that the third number so you want to go with 30 frames per second since that's the raw file you have and then we can just press next and it will start rendering I will skip ahead and so the process is done and uh, this little window appears you can see the file path and you can actually I have this one open already but we can just click it to demonstrate there we go it's right there and it's way smaller than the raw file and just to prove that this this is a 720p video so to prove that it's 
it's enough to read text if you can read this 720p is enough so I'll just end right here thank you for watching I hope you learned something I hope it helped you in your video producing even though this might be a long video but <laughs> thank you for watching and uh, I hope to see you another time Hello everyone, I'm Drix and today in... Ah, fuck. Hello everyone, blah.